Hey guys, Carol97 again. This time a review of the Moron 44 scale high grade Goof Ignited. Is a custom from the Gundam C Destiny series. So for colors, the light blue has from the original one has been turned into white. The darker blue has now become kind of a cross between blue and grey. It's like either grey with a bluish hint or blue with kind of a greyish hint. Talking about grey, we have two shades of that. We have the normal grey for the hands, the joints, also the barrels of the beam guns here and a few other small details. And then we have very dark grey, almost black for the bottom of the feet, the knees here, the backpack, which is unfortunately not a wizard pack, so you cannot take this off and put it on a Zaku or take any of the Zaku's wizard packs and put it on here. Moving on with the stickers, and we don't get a lot of them, though we could have done with two more. So the ones we get is, of course, we get the mono eye, then we get these very nice shiny orange ones, two for the cockpit, and then one on each side of the tail fin. And then, as you can see, we get these giant white ones here. Unfortunately, they only cover one part of the wing because underneath it's just plain black and it's supposed to be the same kind of white as on top and then we also have two white ones that wrap around for the smaller wings on top so then on with the articulation head goes tiny tiny bit up so yeah it kind of jitters up and down a bit rotates around all the way and a bit backwards and forwards and I just disconnected the head. Also, as you can see, nothing inside the eye isn't movable, which is very unfortunate. But we have to say the face does have a bit of a more unique um, style going on it's not really rounded so for the time that probably was a more difficult thing it was not like with the Zaku fish which is much rounder than this then arms rotate around all the way go forwards really nicely backwards well a little bit go up about that far slightly more than 90 degrees which is nice arms rotate around these shoulder pieces are very well articulated so they don't get in the way at all Elbow is bent about 90 degrees on one joint and hands are ball joint. will wiggle around, turn around and do everything a ball joint does. Then the waist turns around about this far when it is flush. And if you extend it a tiny bit, you can turn around all the way. And as you can see, it doesn't really show off that much. So you can say that you can freely turn around. Front skirts, you might think that uh, they're separate because of the way they are designed or by uh, because of the way the mobile suit is designed, but no They can't even be separated go up really far So the legs also go up really really nicely backwards also quite nice And when you look at this that is always really cool when they can do that and Then the legs go out about that far rotate around a bit bend at the knee about that far and well considering that bulky piece there that is about as much as we could expect then the feet are double jointed we have a hinge at the top and then a ball at the bottom so we do have the crazy zaku joints even though it is a goof then backwards about that far left and right and rotate around about that far unless you're going to stretch that piece at the side so overall Articulation on this thing is pretty solid, which is of course very important for a melee oriented mobile suit Now let's look at the articulation of the backpack because that's actually pretty articulate as well The fin goes up and down And these wings go up and they should click into place around around here That way they don't, you can hear the kind of click right there, and then that one should click into place as well. So technically they're supposed to kind of click into place, but yeah, you're still going to kind of have to guess it yourself because the clicks, they're there, but they don't do a lot. Still, 
The end result is pretty effective. Also, one thing I have to mention is that, well, the joint here isn't um, your run-of-the-mill gunpla design from Bandai, because inside are actually metal rods, which you get this piece for to push them in. So, inside here are metal rods. And one thing I wonder about is, how long are they going to last? And I guess since it's not plastic run against plastic, um, but this time metal, I think they might last better than simply plastic rubbing against plastic so that and it is just definitely a cool thing to suddenly see those metal rods in a model kit and you have to shout them in so that was really cool oh and because the wings are on ball joints they can also rotate around and go slightly backwards and forwards then going on with the other accessories that we're getting well first of all the weapons that are already on him we have the four barrel beam gun which is everything he gets for ranged weapons. Then he gets a very monochrome shield. You're definitely gonna have to do a lot of painting on this because yeah, looks a bit boring. Also we get a sword, which you can put in there. One unfortunate thing, sword is very quite loose. Also, let's leave that out for now. And the shield does peg into either arm, so if you buy a second one of this, you can get another shield, put it on there, and then you'll have two of the beam sabers. Also, this is the short stored mode, but we also get the longer mode with some very nice clear beam parts. So, this you can just throw it out away, and let's focus on this one. The unfortunate thing about mine is, king kind of bent. Yeah, that was unfortunate, so definitely gonna have to put this in hot water. But I gotta say the beam sabers went on, uh, the beam saber blades went on there really well. And it sits in the hand rather okay, as you can see, not falling out, so that is pretty good. And then, of course, it's the goof. We just had to get this. I really like the effect they got going on, a really nice pink beam color. So that is really cool, and just as with the normal goof, we get them in one straight line or a bent line. And then the way you attach them is, you remove these very tiny pieces. You come and try not to lose these, seriously. And then simply pull it out, we get a second hand, plug in the hand, and then that taps in there, and it works really well. Of course, you can do the same on the other arm as well. Simply remove that, uh, peg this in, and then you can have two of those whips going on. And those are all of his weapons, but definitely not all of his accessories. There is still one more extremely awesome thing we get with this set. And that is a display base. Not just any display base, a double display base. So not just can you have him just standing up, but you can also have him flying forwards. So that means that if you have another mobile suit that's compatible with the action base, you can put them on there as well. So you can, for example, have Isaac flying in, doing a charge in motion, and then replace the Gym Sniper 2 here with the Arcus mobile suit, either the Zaku with the Gunner or the Blaze Zaku. So that is really awesome. Also, some more good news. Um, this stand here works with a peg. So you gotta dig underneath here and remove the piece here to reveal it and that's also cool you can cover up the hole there and that means that not only does this fit mobile suits with pegs but you can also put on uh, the extensions for the action base one and all of the piece all of the extra action base attachments that you get with the Gundam Seed remastered model kits. So if you love Gundam Seed, you have a bunch of the remasters and you're looking for an action base that fits two of them, this is really, really sweet. And this thing has been on my desk ever since. I really like this display base. As always, the inevitable question is, do you want to buy this? And overall, I would say yes. 
At first, the 1,500 yen price tag seemed kinda overkill. If you look just at the mobile suit. It's a nice kit, but nothing too special. You get all the weapons you should, and articulation overall is pretty good for what it is. But then you look at the shields, kind of a bummer. You look at the backpack, you know, that's a bit uh, there. Could have used an extra sticker. But then when you add in the display base you get, suddenly makes this a great money value. You get a nice articulated mobile suit with some really cool melee weapons and then you can put them in awesome poses with the display base. Or you can use it for your other machines because when you look at all the attachments you can put on it, this uh, will actually fit a lot of mobile suits. As I've said, all of the remastered seed molecules will go on there. Anything that has a peg can go on there or at least all the ones I tried. And then you can put everything from Action Base 1 on there. So that's a really versatile thing. Also, simply because the way the two different poses are put, you can have one charging, you can have one standing up. That's a really cool detail. And you know, when you keep the anime into consideration, you of course have the best tag team out there. Uh, you have Izak, which is a close range guy, and then you have Bianca, which is the long range guy. Finally, for some more size comparisons, here is next to the standard sized gym custom. And as you can see, head height, not really the biggest machine around. Let's put our Zonku here aside, put him next to the Ail Strike. One of the machines that definitely influenced him in terms of the backpack. Once again, he is a bit smaller. Then next to another influence, a machine that really influenced him, the Goof. One fun thing is, same problem with the shield going on, just one color. Some things just never change. And finally, here he is next to the Zaku 3. Nobody saw that. And that's all for this review, and see you guys next time.